Hello, my name is Steve Jones. I'm the Macon County Mayor. I want to give all Macon Countyans an update on our effort to help fight the spread of the COVID-19 virus in Macon County and the efforts that we are making to continue to provide the essential function of the county government during this deadly virus. First, I would like for all Macon Countyans to know that we continue to gather all information available from governmental and medical sources related to the issues that is dead, this deadly virus presents. For the past two weeks, I have been on a weekly conference call with the governor of Tennessee in which I am briefed on issues such as testing being made available to Macon County, actions that the governor's office is taking to prevent the spread of the virus, and gaining information about economic benefits that will be available to Macon Countyans who are out of work and our local businesses impacted by the virus. I have also, for the past three weeks, taken part in a weekly conference call with other county mayors in the Upper Cumberland area where we exchange ideas and information about how to best protect our county residents and how to put in effect procedures to continue the services of the county government without putting our county employees or our citizens at risk of contacting the virus. I will continue to seek the best possible methods and procedures to prevent the spread of the virus in our county. As many know, Maiden County has already had several residents test positive for the virus. Fortunately, as of today, there have been no deaths reported in our county from this virus, unlike some of our neighboring counties that have reported deaths. Since the virus in our community and based upon its aggressive nature, it will spread through Macon County and will cost lives if each of us fail to engage in conduct that limits the spread. As many know, Governor Lee has now put into effect a stay in place order directing people to stay at home except for essential traveling so that they are not coming in contact with multiple other people. According to medical authorities, it is contact with several people that leads to the substantial increase in the number of positive cases. Likewise, Governor Lee has ordered all non-essential businesses to be closed. The order of governor will be posted on MacomCountyTN.gov website. For, health, for the health of you, your family, your friends, your neighbors, and your fellow Macon Countyans, I am encouraging Macon Countyans to not only follow the governor's orders, but to take a few other precautions that may save lives. Limit your trips to the grocery store, to the hardware store, to the retailers like Walmart, other such places that remain open. Plan on making only one weekly shopping trip to the grocery store and spend as little time as possible uh, shopping. Don't congregate at the business while you're there. Anytime you are outside of your house, practice safe distancing by not getting any closer than six feet to others. If you show even the slightest sign of a symptom of the virus, do not leave home except for medical care. It is strongly encouraged that Macon Canyons not travel or visit counties that have a substantial number of COVID-19 positive cases, which include Sumner, Wilson, Davidson, Williamson, Putnam and Shelby counties, unless it is for work, medical treatment, or an emergency situation. These precautions are necessary and very important. Governor Lee has previously banned gatherings of 10 or more people and it is important for all to know that it applies to formal and informal gatherings. All county recreational facilities are closed to all gatherings, formal or informal, and it will be strictly enforced. County residents should make an effort to make sure that since their children are not in school that they are not gathering or congregating in groups of, at other places. I want to remind all citizens that all county government operations are open for business except for public libraries. County offices are operating under different methods of operation. The Macon County TN.gov website, NCTV Channel 15, our local newspapers and WLCTV radio provides the information on how county offices are available to the public. I also want to mention that the county legislative body will meet as a, scheduled for their official April meeting on Monday, April the 20th at 6.30. This meeting will be conducted by teleconference and, and live broadcasting on WLCTV, or WLCT radio and will be streaming on YouTube as well as being linked through the MainCountyTN.gov website. Again, I ask all Macon Countyans to do their part in this fight. No one is immune from this virus. Everyone is at risk. So let's all pull together to make it tougher for the virus to beat us. I'm available 24 seven for any questions and concerns that citizens may have. God bless and God bless America.